guys, so I'm back again today, bare faced, because I'm going to show you my skincare routine. So on an everyday basis, I usually use a simple purifying cleansing lotion. So I'll just get um, a cotton pad and a cotton pad, I like these big ones, these are from Walker, I think they were like 50p for 50 so it's quite good. So I'll just grab one of these, pop this on. Rub it all over my face. I'll go through um, the other things that I use, but I'll just do this all over. So yeah, I'm quite lazy when it comes to cleansing my face in the morning, but um, I've got really dry skin, <laughs> so I prefer to use these cream ones than like a face wash because. It makes my skin really tight and yeah, I just don't like it. So I'm just making sure that it's nice into the skin and making sure I've got the rest of your stitches I make off because I'm just not very good at taking my makeup off. Anymore. So yeah, all the dirty horribleness is on there. And then sometimes I'll go and use my micellium water, I'm going to say this, I've got the Garnier one, I'll be writing a blog post about this soon, it might already be up, I'm not quite sure when this video is going to go up, so I'll just pop that onto a cotton pad as well, and then just run that all over my skin. This is what I also use at night, get my makeup off, and I just find it leaves my skin so clean and soft and yeah. You'll see in my blog post. I'll link it down below. So once I've used my simple and once I've used the cleansing water, I go to use I go to use the toner. I've just got a Boots Simply Sensitive Toner. I used to use a simple one but I ran out of that and this was the, the cheapest alternative in the shops at the time anyway. I've got sensitive skin so I don't like to use things that have got like alcohol in them and things that make it dry. So again, put it on a cotton pad and just wipe it all over your face. I've only ever learnt this recently but toner helps to balance the pH level in your skin. So when I've done all that, I like to go in with a moisturiser and things so this is the Body Shop Vitamin E Eye Cream and I really like this. Yeah, this is the first eye cream that I've ever used and I don't know, I never thought I needed an eye cream. Then I started to get really bad dark circles. I don't personally think it does much for me. It says it helps reduce appearance, appearance of fine lines, puffiness and dark circles. It just lets my concealer sit nicer. So yeah, when you're applying eye cream, you just need to put about a pea sized amount for each eye and just dab it in. Don't like drag it down your face because then, I don't know, it's bad for your eye, your skin under your eyes because it's really sensitive. Like. Just a little bit, about this much, and just dab it around your eyes. I like to on the top as well because that's where the most of the darkness is on my eyes, I think. And I've got quite a bit of like, redness on the top of my eye. And I like to go right here because this is where my um, like fine lines are. Sometimes I like to leave just to like leave it to soak in a little bit so I don't tap it in all the way because if if I do then I'll be there for ages. And then there's a number of other things that I like to put on. So I've got this in my birch box, Fe February birch box, and it's the Claude, 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 I don't even know, Claude, Claude. Um, it's a Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting. I don't even know if it works properly. I've not, I've not really used it too much. I know what it does. <laughs> Obviously, it corrects your complexion, but 
I don't know, it just makes my skin feel really nice and soft. And because I've got dry skin, it's also an extra moisturising thing. It smells nice, it smells so nice. Maybe that's why I use it. I don't know. My moisturiser of choice for the moment, for the daytime, is the Body Shop Vitamin E Aqua Boost Sorbet. It's fab, I love it. It's so refreshing on my skin, like, I don't know, I've, got, I've barely got any left. It's running low. It's so weird, it's the weirdest moisturiser I've ever used, like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like, I don't know the texture of it, it's just strange, it's kind of a jelly, melted, I don't know, it's not like a moisturiser, it's not like a cream, anyway it says it's got 24 hour moisture quench, aqua like texture, it is so light as well, and it's so moisturising for my skin. Hydrating is the one. Just make sure you like rub it on your neck as well. You always need to moisturise your neck. You don't want a wrinkly neck when you're old. So yeah, just all over the face. I like to put more on my problem areas, like my dry skin problem areas, which are like here and there, which is where I get spots and they go dry. So in between my, my eyebrows and my forehead and my nose and in here because this is where I get dry sometimes it's on my cheeks and on my chin but not really it's my nose and my forehead which is weird because that's why you spend most people are oily yep I like to use that I like to add a bit more there there yeah wherever it's dry and this soaks in so fast and it's like I don't know it's got a tingly sensation like like as if you put like something menthol on your face Anyway, I love it. It's amazing. I, I need to buy another job because I don't want to run out. <laughs> now, I'll just go through some other moisturisers that I like to use when I don't use that one. So, I've got this one, which is from Primark. It's the PS Love Your Skin 8 Hour Deep Hydration Face Cream. I usually like to wear this at night now. Um, yeah, it's just great. It's got more Moroccan argan oil in it and yeah I like to wear this at night but you can wear it in the day just not too much don't put too much on in the day because it can make you a bit greasy yeah but it's only two pounds and when I first got it I thought oh I don't know this might like make me all spotty and horrible because I've got really sensitive skin but it actually doesn't and it smells really nice. It's a bit sickly smelling but it's nice. It's like it's a bit it's like it's kinda like sweets. <laughs> and then I've also got the simple replenishing rich moisturizer. I do like the light moisturizer, which I also have in my drawer but I've not opened it yet. For the summer, so like now I'll get that out. But this is great for the winter. I used to love this, but I like the sorbet better. <laughs> I do use this sometimes when I can't find anything else if, I, if it's just lying around because it's a bigger bottle and the rest, the rest of them are just in jars. So I do use this occasionally, but not as much as I used to do. So next, if I'm feeling like my skin's looking a bit dull or I want to add a bit of something when I'm putting my makeup on or I don't want to put makeup on, then I'll use something like this, the Vitamin C Skin Reviver. It's from Body Shop. <laughs> what isn't from Body Shop right now, really? Quite a lot of things. Yes, it's the Vitamin C Skin Reviver. It's, I like to pump it on my hand. It's like a shiny serum thing. It's not shiny, it's got like light reflecting. See, it's kind of like an iridescent colour. Actually, really pretty. And I just put a little bit on my skin. It's kind of like a primer, so don't put too much on. You can also just use this as a primer if you want, or just 
just use it a little on your skin or just a little bit to add to your primer. Again, I like to work it into the problem areas. And then that's that. And that is my everyday skincare routine. I am going to talk about some other things that I use when I want to change things up or I've got a bit more time or I feel like I want to like faff around with other products. So the first two things I'm going to talk about are the simple face washes. So I've got the refreshing one and I've got the moisturising one. I love this one. This is the one that I first got, I'm nearly out of it. I'll say I'm nearly out of it, there's quite a bit left actually. <laughs> yeah, I love this. It's just it's just great, I don't know. It's good for my dry my dry sensitive skin. It doesn't dry it out too much. I like to use this in the shower mainly. Well, th this is in my shower at the minute, this one, the moisturising one. But I used to have this in my shower. Now this is just next to the, the sink in the bathroom. I don't like using face washes unless like it's in the shower. Because I don't like the water everywhere. And when I don't wash my hair in the shower, I don't use this. I don't wash my hair every day. I don't like to get my hair wet because it's good. Anyway, yeah, I use this in the shower. Or this in the shower. Either one. I think this, this one's my favourite because I don't know why. It just feels great on the skin. I also use it to wash my brushes. It's just good. It just makes your face really clean. And then this one's moisturising but it says it's foaming, but it's never foamed. I feel like it's not getting into my like into my skin. I feel like it just sits on my skin when I'm rubbing it around. It's just it's really thick, like you can't push it. I don't know if you can. Like it's really hard to get quite a lot out. Whereas this just look, it's like so. I don't even know if you can see this. This is quite liquidy and this is quite thick and gel like so I prefer this one because it comes out quicker. You can get it in all over your face. It feels like it's getting into the skin whereas this one feels like it's just sitting on my face. It's not washing my face. And then also in the shower which I haven't got to show you. I've got the simple um, exfoliating scrub thing which I really like. Great for my dry skin. Try and concentrate it on my problem areas. On my, just all over, everywhere. It's great, I love it. I use that about once or twice a week. Try not to use it too much because it is quite harsh on my sensitive skin. I think that's everything. Sorry, I've been completely bare faced. I'm going to put my makeup on. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, visit my blog, it'll all be down below. And if you want to watch my other videos, I'll pop them here and here. So, see you in my next one. Bye, guys. So, yeah, this product. My road is so long. I try and concentrate it here and here. Yeah, once or twice a week I use that, so. And thanks for watching, guys. If you want to, thumbs up.